Nigerian women stakeholders and civil society organizations have continued the litigation process on inclusive governance in Nigeria. The litigation process, which commenced on 2nd December 2020 in Abuja, is set to achieve a milestone on the interpretations of the laws on women's inclusion in leadership and decision-making positions in Nigeria's governance process. The case was presented in court on Wednesday, 29 September 2021 and has been adjourned to 24 October 2021 for hearing. Elsewhere, the Oyo State Police Command has arraigned a 25-year-old farmer, Solomon Ochadi, before Chief Magistrate Court sitting in Ibadan for allegedly killing his mother, Elizabeth Ochadi, and burying her. The focal person of an organization in Cross River State has called on the government to lift the embargo on the employment of health personnel, especially midwives, in order to reduce the rising deaths of pregnant women. And Tunisia's president, Kai Said, has named geologist Najla Bowden as the country's first ever female prime minister designate. In sports, the first lady of Nigeria, Dr. Aisha Bwari, will be presented with a special achievement in sports award for her successful hosting of the Aisha Bwari Invitational Women's Football Tournament. Today marks seven years and 168 days since our Chibok girls have been captured, and three years and 222 days since the abduction of Leah Sharibu, the Dutchie girl. Women Radio WFM 91.7 calls for the safe release of our girls in captivity. Women Radio WFM 91.7 demands justice from the government for victims and survivors of sexual abuse and rape. If you have been sexually abused, please contact the Sexual Assault Referral Center near you. Women Radio urges you to observe all precautionary measures against COVID-19 and stay safe. The news at 6 is edited by Esther Alaribi. I am Kimberly Opiebo. Good morning. 91.7 female-centric radio station for women and families. WFM 91.7.